Hi, my name is Diego and I'm from CypherCore, the makers of LoginTC. In this video, we will show you how to add LoginTC strong authentication to your Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access Portal by deploying the LoginTC Remote Desktop Web Access and LoginTC Remote Desktop Gateway SSO connectors. I recommend to follow along this video with our online documentation. Please see the video description for a list of relevant links. Log into the LoginTC admin panel online to get started with the installation process. Click Domains and then click Create for your first domain. Enter a relevant name and pick an icon for your domain. Your users will see the name and icon each time they authenticate. Click Create to cr complete this step. You now have a domain ready to be used for LoginTC authentication. Now create a user and test your configuration. Go to the Administration panel and from the Domains tab, click your newly created domain. Scroll down and click Create Member. The username must match the username in your Active Directory or SAM account name. Then enter their full name, their email address and click Create. Now issue a token so that the user can authenticate with LoginTC. An email with instructions on how to load a token is usually sent to users. For this video, the token will be issued without an email. Load the new token on your test device. Launch the LoginTC app, click Add Token, and enter the activation code you see in the administration panel. Click Next and click Add. Now the user has a token for your LoginTC domain and will be able to authenticate against any service you protect with LoginTC. Click the user to confirm the token is loaded. Now click Test Token to open the Test Token modal. Click Send Notification. A simulated request will be sent to your device. Approve the request to confirm authentication is working. Now install the LoginTC Remote Desktop Web Access Connector. First download the latest version of the LoginTC Remote Desktop Web Access Connector. See the video description for a list of relevant links. First we will modify one key setting on your LoginTC domain. Navigate to the LoginTC Admin Panel and click on your domain. Click Settings. Scroll down to Normalize Usernames and select Yes, Normalize Usernames. Usernames in Remote Desktop Web Access are typically in the form corp slash John Doe, while in the LoginTC admin panel, it is generally more convenient to simply use John Doe. By enabling normalized usernames, the users will simply be treated by their username and not their down level logon name. Scroll down and click Update. Your LoginTC domain is now ready to be used with Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access Portal. Now launch the LoginTC Remote Desktop Web Access Installer on your server with the RD Web Access role as an administrator. Click Run and then Next. Review the End User License Agreement, then click Accept and then Next. Use the default cloud.logintc.com LoginTC API host. Click Next. Retrieve your application ID and application API key from the LoginTC admin panel. Navigate to Applications and click on your Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access application. Copy the application ID and paste it. Next, copy the application API key and paste it. Click Next. The Web Access Secret Secret Key is used if you have multiple servers serving Outlook Web Access. The secret key must be the same on all servers so that cookies can pass between servers seamlessly. If this is your first time, then simply click Generate and keep note of the secret key. Click Next. 
There are two parts to protecting remote desktop web access. First is protecting access through the portal, and second is protecting launched RDP files downloaded from the portal. By clicking Enable RD Gateway SSO, you are guaranteeing that any RDP connection made to your remote desktop gateway must have been initiated from an authenticated remote desktop web access portal. In this video, we will enable RD Gateway SSO. Click Next. Now enter the fully qualified domain name of your RD Gateway SSO host or farm. You will also need to enter the certificate thumbprint of your RD Web Access Portal certificate. A simple way to get this thumbprint is to navigate to your remote desktop web access portal. Click the certificate and view the details. Scroll down to find the thumbprint. Copy the thumbprint, paste it, and click Next. The SSO secret key is used to generate and verify RDP tokens. If this is your first time, then simply click Generate and keep note of the secret key. You will be using it when installing the LoginTC Remote Desktop Gateway SSO connector. Click Next. Installation is now ready to commence. Click Install. Click Finish. The Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access Portal is now protected with LoginTC. In order to complete the installation, remember to install the LoginTC Remote Desktop Gateway SSO connector. Now install the LoginTC Remote Desktop Gateway SSO connector. This connector will ensure that downloaded RDP files from the Remote Desktop Web Access Portal were authenticated with LoginTC. First, download the latest version of the LoginTC Remote Desktop Gateway SSO connector. See the video description for a list of relevant links. Now launch the LoginTC Remote Desktop Gateway SSO connector installer on your server with the Remote Desktop Gateway role as an administrator. Click Run and then Next. Review the End User License Agreement, then click Accept and then Next. Enter the same SSO secret key used when installing the LoginTC Remote Desktop Web Access Connector. Click Next. Installation is now ready to commence. Click Install. Click Finish. The Remote Desktop Gateway is now protected with LoginTC. Now configure the network policy server on the host running the RD Gateway role where you installed the LoginTC RD Gateway SSO connector. Open the network policy server from the start menu on your host running the LoginTC RD Gateway SSO connector. Expand Policies, then Network Policies tree in the side menu. Right-click on the desired target RDG CAP policy. The default is RDG underscore CAP underscore all users and click on Properties. Under the Conditions tab, ensure that CA is listed in the call station ID condition. User auth type colon open bracket PW pipe CA close bracket. Press Apply. Your Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access Portal is now fully protected with LoginTC. Now test Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access. Navigate to your Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access Portal URL in your browser. Enter your username and password. You will now be prompted with various configured methods to authenticate with LoginTC. Click Send Me a Request to receive a notification on your device. Tap Approve to complete the authentication request. Users can now access your Microsoft Remote Desktop Web Access Portal securely using LoginTC multi-factor authentication. 